Hello! So a while back, I made a Dapper History on OK Soda, which is one of Coke's biggest marketing failures. If you haven't seen it, you should watch that first because this video kind of won't make sense without it. But here's the thing, okay, since filming that, I haven't been able to move on. Usually with Dapper Histories, or when I make a video on something I'm hyper fixating on, it gets it out of my system. I haven't thought about Hans Christian Andersen in months, you know? But with OK Soda, I literally, I can't get it out of my head. I think about it like almost every day, I'm not kidding. And I'm looking for like other product or marketing failures as big as OK, and I just can't find any that are on the same scale, you know? Every company has like a commercial that was received poorly or a bad PR stunt or a product that just didn't take off but none of them have really blown my mind so much as OK Soda. One of the mysteries of OK that I can't get out of my head is what the fuck did it taste like? So it is my goal. Shit. So I've gathered some testimonies describing what OK tasted like, and I'm going to try to use those as a recipe and recreate the taste of OK Soda, because maybe if I can just get closure in the flavor department, I can start the journey of moving on, you know? I found... I found three very different descriptions of the flavor of OK, and so we're going to be trying all of those today. But as I mentioned before, I'm not much of a pop drinker, and so I had to go on a bit of a pop pilgrimage. And of course, it's fucking raining. Leah Michelle be like, oh my gosh, you guys, my parade. Topical humor, as usual. Thanks, Jules. One of the ingredients we're gonna need is red zinger tea. So we're gonna brew this now and then we're gonna let it cool because it needs to be cold to give that refreshing soda taste, you know? Also, they mentioned that it needs to be strong, so I'm gonna do two bags. So big ass mug, two tea bags. So we're gonna leave this alone, let it do its thing for quite a while. In the meantime, let's get started on one of our other recipes. So the first recipe we're gonna try is actually the one that I showed in the video, where a guy on Reddit describes that he liked OK so much that he kind of made his own dupe recipe for it. I feel like this is gonna be our best bet at getting an accurate taste of it because he uses exact measurements in his recipe. So he says we're gonna need Coke, orange soda, and Dr. Pepper. This is not sponsored by the way, oh Jesus. I'm not used to shit. I'm not used to things that sweet. <laughs> so what did he say? Three-fourths Coke, a little less than one-fourth orange soda, and just a splash of Dr. Pepper. Okay. To all of my chemistry teachers in high school, look at me now. <sighs> Fuck. A little- Oh god, that's sweet. I know he wasn't referring to cup measurements. That's just what I'm gonna go for. And just a splash of Dr. Pepper. I love this recipe because he uses exact measurements. It's like he's done this enough times to know exactly how much it is. Okay, that's a splash. That was more than a splash. This is our specimen number one. Um, observations. It looks very much... If fucking, you can see it. It's brown. Ooh. Weird. It... Hmm. Okay, it smells very tangy, which adds up with the descriptions that I've heard that it's almost like an orange spicy-ish thing. Okay, I guess we're gonna try it now. Hmm. Um. <laughs> Wait, hang on. What's that thing that wine tasters do? Like, okay, this is interesting. And I gotta say, it's honestly not what I expected. I expected it to taste a lot more offensive, I guess. This I would almost say it just tastes boring. It's like I can taste individually all three of the sodas that went into it at the same time. And yet, there's so many flavors in it that it just ends up tasting like nothing. I get it though. 
This tastes like every description that I read of OK. It's kind of almost spicy, but the spice is just all the citric acid in all of the sodas mixing together. It does taste like fruit punch almost, and I don't know where the fuck that came from because the only fruit flavored thing in here is orange. It doesn't really taste like orange, that's the thing. It just tastes like corn syrup and citric acid. It's not offensive, but do I want to take another sip? No, I don't fucking care about this at all. I'm a little disappointed with this outcome, but like honestly, what could possibly be more fitting than OK Soda disappointing us all? <laughs> I tell you what, that aftertaste is kicking my ass right now. So I'm gonna wait a little longer for the tea to cool down all the way. But in the meantime, I have an observation that I need to make regarding OK and Dr. Pepper. Pretty much all of the recipes that I could find describing the taste of OK mentioned Dr. Pepper, saying that it tastes like Dr. Pepper mixed with XYZ other ingredient. This is interesting to me for quite a few reasons. For one thing, Dr. Pepper is not a Coke product, but also because Dr. Pepper is a mix of 23 flavors. Like this whole thing is a mixture in and of itself. And so I find it very interesting that people describe OK as tasting like these 23 flavors mixed with several other flavors. You know what I'm saying? It really gives me the impression that OK was concocted just by the Coke scientists throwing every flavor they had into this giant vat and mixing it up. Like, just put it all in, these fuckers will drink anything. And now after tasting basically what OK tasted like, that starts to make a lot of sense. It tastes like so much and yet nothing at the same time. So it just tastes fucking bad. I'm gonna take one more sip. It's getting worse. <laughs> As it sits, or maybe it's just my perception of it, but like, the more I drink it, every sip tastes worse somehow. <laughs> it's like when I first sipped it, I was underwhelmed, but I didn't hate it. Now I hate it. Now I feel, I'm, I'm feeling kind of fucking sick. It's like a different drink every time and each of them is getting worse. It's like a relationship where at the beginning you were just getting to know them, just curious and having fun. And then as the years go by and you're getting more familiar with them and now all you can see are all these flaws and quirks and red flags that you didn't see when you took your first sip, you know, Jesus. Okay, time to make specimen number two. So this is the red hibiscus tea. It's not all the way cold, uh, but I am impatient and I can wait no longer. So I'm just gonna fill it with a bunch of ice. This testimony actually comes from one of my commenters and they describe being an avid fan of OK and actually liking the imagery and the interactivity of it all. They describe it as tasting like Dr. Pepper mixed with a cold and very intensely steeped red zinger tea. So as I said, I put two uh, bags in here. Get it, oh Jesus. Okay. Honestly, if this ends up being a little warm, I feel like that's not the end of the world. A lot of the accounts of OK describe it tasting like warm, flat Coke. So, cool down. I don't know. I really overloaded that, didn't I? Shit. Hang on, wait, I have an idea. See, that actually tastes really good. This is more my speed. Let's play bartender. I'm just gonna pour the, strain the ice out. Oh God. This is my day off of work, by the way. This is what I choose to do with my time. So now this is our hibiscus tea mixture and our Dr. Pepper. <laughs> it's so fucking gross. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure it's fully incorporated. Uh, from the looks of it, it looks a little more red than the other one. Probably obviously because of all the tea. Again, with the Dr. Pepper, let's take a fucking sip, babes. Oh God. That's just kind of fucking repulsive. I don't know if I have the measurements wrong or something that's a very heavily steeped hibiscus tea <laughs> fucking come on dr pepper save me it's a lot more sour and a lot more bitter than our first attempt which makes sense because this is three sodas mixed together this is only one mixed with a very tart tea <laughs> but god that's horrid <laughs> wait they're starting to taste the same i think i might be just nuts <laughs> Another observation I'm having is that I'm starting to feel physically ill. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna die. Okay, two attempts down. I have one more testimony that I'm gonna try to recreate. And I already know this is going to be a massive failure, not just for my health, 
but in general i'm not expecting this to work or taste like okay at all but like fuck it because we're in this deep already many people describe okay as tasting like the trough at the bottom of a soda dispenser where all the excess soda falls and mixes together and just gets flat and sticky. So many people said that it tasted like that, which I thought was an exaggeration, but now after tasting a replica of it, like, no, it's not an exaggeration. It just tastes like a bunch of shit mixed together. So I couldn't find any like fountain drink machine where I could just mix every flavor together. So in order to recreate this monstrosity, we have to pull out the big guns. You want a nightmare? I'll give you a fucking nightmare. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to accurately recreate that trough flavor, uh, but I got a variety of drinks and I'm gonna try mixing them together and hopefully it'll be something similar. One thing's for sure, it's gonna taste like shit and give me an even worse stomach ache. Orange Crush, my old friend. Fuck it, let's pour in the rest of this hibiscus tea. Why not? Oh my god, it smells so bad. A couple accounts described it as tasting kind of like fruit punch, so we're gonna add some of that. Oh, I wanted to get Fago for good measure because whoop whoop, you know? But the fucking clowns beat me to it. I went to three different stores. I couldn't find a single bottle of it. Sorry, fam. Let's add that leftover ice. We want this cold and, <laughs> cold and refreshing. Fuck it, I found this blue raspberry soda. Uh, why not? This is my nightmare. I promise you I'm not exaggerating when I say I have such a fucking building stomach ache right now. <laughs> it's like how after you drown and your lungs fill with fluid, my body is shutting down and it's just filling with okay soda. <laughs> All right, I can put this off no longer. I'm pouring, actually, you know what? No. We're drinking this straight out of the trough. It smells like a fruity soda mixed with Coke. It's just like pure fucking sugar, a little bit of tanginess. Let's take a fucking sip, babes. <coughs> Why did I do this? Why did I think this was gonna be like a good idea? Oh my fucking God, my straw fell in. We're so far past the point of disgustingness, we might as well go all the way. It's just, it's so sweet. It's so fucking sweet. And I know that's my own fault. I know I did this. I, I do this to myself. To my credit, I think I did a pretty decent job at recreating the soda trough flavor. It's so flat. There, there's no carbonation left. And so all you taste is that like syrupy sweetness and that citric acid. Another sip for good measure. Oh my God. Now, obviously I know that this is nothing like what okay tasted like. This is just me fucking around. Specimen one, this is okay. Um, this is just self-harm at this point. And this table is so sticky now and my hands are so sticky and my stomach hurts. I feel like my kidneys are shutting down for some reason. I need to fucking throw all of this away and clean up and just eat some bread or something. I need more fucking water. The conclusion that I've come to is if you are really, really fucking curious about what okay tasted like, do the first recipe. It's not worth it though. It's bad. Like all of this is fucking horrible. The red hibiscus one, I don't know why that punished me so much. But do not go any further down the dark path of mixing sodas because Jesus Christ, I feel like I'm a lab rat being experimented on or something and I'm not even getting any cheese. <sighs> I feel like I had something else that I was gonna say in this video, but like now I feel so sick that I, I don't, I don't, I don't wanna film anymore. Uh, fucking editing Julia. If you remember what I was gonna say, uh, let us know. I don't have a fucking clue what you're talking about, bestie. Great. You know, this was painful, uh, but hopefully this is the rock bottom that I needed to get the okay soda obsession out of my system. And I'm so disgusted that I'm never gonna wanna like dive back down that hole again. Also, if you know of any other massive marketing flops, like not just a bad commercial, but an actual disaster, please let me know because I find those endlessly interesting. God, this feeling. So yeah, I'm ending this video here. I'm gonna take a big fucking nap. Future Julia, let me know. Am I still obsessed with okay soda? Kinda, I guess, I don't know. Great. Or if the answer is, I am so obsessed. Bad. I don't know. Bye. <coughs> Shit. Health update. I'm currently laying down in bed. Possibly the cause of some of my illness during filming was immediately after I stopped filming, I got my period. So 
did okay soda induce my period also i'm receiving the best medical care known to man oh no no sorry I'm, i just wanted to show them that i'm receiving the best medical care known to man she's not laying down with me she's standing standing guard she's protecting me but can she protect me from myself <laughs>